Okay, I am here. I am here. I'm here. Wow, everybody's here. Holy crap. I am here. I am here. Hold on. We had a... Something weird happened to my music. Okay, there it goes. <sighs> wait, wait. Wait, 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 uh, wait, chat's going by a million miles a second, hold on. Hey, what's up? What's going on? Let's see here, okay. Adjust, adjust, adjust. And oh my gosh, that is, that is in the wrong spot. Hmm. Uh, let's uh, try, <laughs> get that fixed here in a second, just put that down over here okay that's fine how is everybody today is everybody doing okay I still play other games on console but not KSP yeah yes wear the night helmet and turn camera on <laughs> you mean the Mandalorian helmet it's in pieces unfortunately it fell apart because it's made out of a cheap rubber I bought it for like 14 bucks on eBay no uh, not eBay. Amazon Yum, yum, yum. So I got some water, I got some soda. Try to use that to help keep awake. I don't, it's not, it's not going to be a long stream. It's going to be a short stream, I promise. <clears throat> Vales, ignore my username. <laughs> I love your vids. I love you too, man. Hello, I'm dead inside. No, don't be dead inside. I'm good. Yeah, I'm doing great. That's great. How are you all, TJ? Hey, TJ! What a shame. Yeah, I know, it's a shame. Maybe one of these days I'll get a real Mandalorian helmet. Well, I say real, maybe made out like a plastic or something. Oh, there we go. Let me know if the music is too loud or if my voice is too low. Short stream, you say that every time, Vales. I know I do, I know. I am KSP Xbox. Well, you probably are. Uh, was the last stream considered short? Uh, may I? You know, I don't even remember last stream. What was the last stream about? I don't even recall. Okay, so this one is basically we're going to uh, iron out the kinks on something I've been working on. I wanted to make a video of it, but I ran out of time, so I figured I'd just make a stream. The Mega Rover Generation 1. Here we go. I hope you guys like it. Because it took a while. And I do mean a while. But I recorded all the steps of reco of building. There it goes. I just got to turn these off real quick. I really wish there was an option to have the fairings, uh, fairing expansion mouse over turned off to begin with. Because a lot of people that are like me, we use the fairings not to transport stuff, but more of more of as building options or building constructs <laughs> want to help support the channel hey mark how you doing man uh audio is good okay cool thank you nb uh let's see here playing ksp right now trying to rescue jeb bill <laughs> they always need rescuing isn't it i'm good xbox ksp so good Damn, this rover, cool. Not gonna lie. Well, thank you. It needs to be bigger, Vales. Much, much bigger. Well, this is a start, okay? It's a Generation 1, and uh, I've been working on it now for, uh, I think, uh, four hours from yesterday. And everything works. The reason why these wheels are tilted down is because this thing, this thing, this thing weighs about 170 tons, so... When it loads up into the game world, this is going to pitch right back up in a, in a very straight... It's going to look straight when it renders in the game world. Mm, five seconds later and the file corrupted. Oh no! Bale is also an option to keep them expanded, expanded to modify the payload. Eh? Help me add space? I, I don't understand. I'm old man. We come from the old way. Gosh. Oh shit, I didn't even realize that was sticking out. 
Bummer. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually iron this thing out because the biggest, biggest, what? Biggest problem is the loading bay. Uh, as you see, I got two scout rovers. They've got science doohickeys on the back. And uh, unfortunately, getting out is somewhat of a challenge and getting in is a challenge as well. So they have a type of lifter system that comes up and picks them up and what I have it is kind of like this so it picks them up from their standstill and then it brings them upright and I do that so that the Kerbals can these wheels are they're they're non collidable or something like that so the Kerbals can walk right through them and get to the other side I wanted it so the Kerbal walks underneath the craft but unfortunately their helmets are too big I'm going to get KSP or something. Yeah, I hear um, my buddy um, uh, Cupcake Landers is about to come out with his video in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. So I'm definitely going to be watching that and looking at that when it comes out. So you all have to forgive me. Uh, I'll probably see if I can get like a little screen or something to pop up. And we'll watch his video real quick. And everybody go over there and give him some love. Cupcake Landers is his name. Um, he puts out a video like once a month or so, but they're really good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. We're going to take this off. Yeah, take it off slowly. Take it off real slowly. Oh, that was a little too hard. Sorry. <laughs> Challenge Veils, by any chance, do you mean it's downright impossible? Downright impossible to do what? You have to be more specific. I know you've probably said it, but I, I, I'm, I'm doing like three things at once, so I, I might have lost track of what you were talking about. All right, let's bring this up. This thing can get. Uh, this thing can go about thirty-six, forty meters per second. It's not you know, ultra fast, but it's pretty fast for a big giant craft. The craft is aesthetic. Yes, it is. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I liked how the tail end comes out really nice. And it's got the three wheels like a big giant rover. It kind of reminds me of the Sands of Agara. Although I was inspired by that, yes. Okay, let's work on this. They also meant getting back into the hangar. Uh, challenge, challenge, Veos, by any chance, do you mean it's downright impossible? I meant getting back into the hangar. Um, it's, it's, it's very hard for these little guys to get into the hangar bay of the craft, is that, if that's what you were talking about. So I need to, I'm actually thinking about designing my own ramp to go with the ramp. It's going to be a ramp and a ramp design. It's going to be a very ramp ramp. Lots of ramp going on. Okay, let's see here. So I'm going to put the fuel on the sides but towards the middle because I, I noticed that on the moon, with the low gravity, it likes to... Uh, likes to fall back on its ass a lot, which is not a good thing. Why not make a Veos Kerman using the cheat menu? I mean, I could if I wanted to, I suppose. Maybe one day. Of course, because I'm trying to get part, part count down to a minimum of, say, uh, nothing if I can help it. I'm going to use the most simplest, obvious rover parts available. I finished my project manager class. I am off till January. Oh, wow. 
Well, that must be really nice, huh? Ain't got no work to do at all. Lucky. Hmm, I guess I could put the engine right on the fuel tank. Although that looks kind of silly. You should make a Veos, Kerman. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe I should just put the engines on the side. Ah, shit. This arm's in a good spot, too. I don't want to mess that up. Oh, well, maybe... Can we bring it up some, maybe? Eh. Can we flip it over? Mmm. Well. I mean... Eh. It's, uh, it's something, I guess. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm using my brain, I'm thinking. New intro, hello everyone. His name is Veos. Yes it is. A Veos Kerman with texture replacement to look more like Veos than Kerman. <laughs> what, with a Mandalorian helmet? Have a, have a Kerman with a Mandalorian helmet, helmet on, yeah, okay. <laughs> Veos, be aware that the science arm won't work. If it is obstructed. Ah, thank you. Veos, give Veos Kerman a Mando helmet. Yes! Um, let's see here. Oh, maybe I could put the batteries, like, uh, on side like this. Something to think about. You know, maybe instead of this fuel tank, I will give it this fuel tank and put it like on the bottom. Well, bottom and then squeeze it in because I don't want it blowing up, you know. Make it silver. Just kind of squeeze it in there a little bit. There it goes. Schlunk. All right, then we're going to use this uh, for stability purposes, just in case we have, like, only a scientist driving this thing. At least somehow the control won't mess her up. Uh, here, we'll do this. Flip it. Like that. And bring it in just a pinch. I said a pinch. Gosh, damn it. There we go. And then thanks to restock, I can have several things I can do. I can make it gold or that. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Veos, I can't make my crafts as aesthetic as yours. I have to increase my creativity. It takes time. I didn't get like this overnight. And I'm not even tooting my own horn. I'm just saying that the wonderful, wonderful um, things that you're saying about my aesthetically pleasing crafts didn't happen overnight. You should see my very first videos. Go on my channel and look at my very first videos. It was... <sighs> it was... Oh. It was woof. It was very woof. I just, that's all I gotta say about that. It was very mmm, It was very mmm, Alright, so. Engine in the back. It's not obstructing the way in. And grab that. Oh. And I think I'll just bring it just like, uh. Oh, that's fine. Okay, so we got a 
place right here for all the tools. Keep that somewhat in the middle as well. Got a spotlight. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, communications. Howdy, Veos. Howdy. Veos, I just made an even bigger rover. <gasps> Sweet. Make it so large that Kerbin can't withstand it. Dun, dun, dun. Creates its own gravity well. Um, let's see. Oh, this is, well, this is a relay antenna. I could, but you know what? Mm, not really trying to control anything, right? So let's put this on the other side. There we go. What I mean by not controlling anything is that it's not supposed to be robotic, so I'm not too worried about that. Just as long as it has some sort of control or contact ability. Okay, I think that's a better rover. Where's this? Well, I can't really click the center of mass because that wouldn't work, huh? <laughs> mm hmm. Yes, very first videos were very bumpy. Yes, they were. Fails, I'm a huge fan. Oh, thank you, Lord Barth. Wait, Lord Barth? I am so sorry if I'm horribly destroying that name. Bartholomew. It's like, are you receiving the ultimate gift? What was it? What was it? He's like, are you receiving the ring? He's like, no. He's like, then get out of here. It's like, what? Who are you? My name's Barth. He's like, no, what's your real name? Bartholomew. He's like, are you re are you getting married? He's like, no. He's like, then get out of here. <laughs> for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, thank you for making me feel old to begin with, but um, space balls. Yes. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like the retracting system. Cupcake goes live in three. Woohoo! Jeb, Bill, and Bob all made it back safely. Veos. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Veos, I got the reference. Yes! I'm not alone. Love space balls. <laughs> you have a KSP of eight years, which is a lot. Yes, I, I got this game when it first came out. We had like a total of maybe a grand of maybe ten parts in the entire game to work with. It was fun. Very challenging, but fun. Ah, crap. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Okay, and we're going to attach this here. Okay, so now the rovers have been updated. They no longer, uh, well, at least I don't think they would no longer flip everywhere. Let's see if we get the robotic stuff here. Spaceballs for life. <laughs> yeah, it was a very fun movie. Came for the chunk unit. The chunka unit. Are you on Luna Multiplier? Nope, I am not, actually. Okay, let's see here. I want to use this. Hmm, that's not going to work, is it? Well, shit. Yes, bro, I was like seven when I say that movie. And to this day, I still think that movie is good. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm back, boys. Hmm. Is this rover for the Duna Colony or something like that? I mean, it can be used for the Duna Colony, but son of a biscuit eater. That Duna Colony better be on its game in order to build something like this. And I, I did have Duna Colony, Duna Colony expectations at the time because I built it using this front piece here. So the idea is, is that I'll have like an octagonal strut or something. Put it there and then have like the factory way up high or something. Then it builds this sucker. Man, this thing is going to be huge. That means the factory would have to be like... The main factory would be right here. That's going to be a 
crap ton of spaceship parts, right? And then uh, probably have it like engulfed a little bit, like a little tiny little hanger almost. Maybe something that goes over it. So it's covered in green, like a green tarp as it's being built. And when it finally finalizes, like this whole thing just kind of backs out. We would have to name it a ship name. It'd be like, you know, uh, USS Sojourner. Just, you know, just popping it out there. Because it, it's literally a ship. It's it's not a spaceship. It's a land ship. But it's literally a ship. Veos is old. I was like 12 when I discovered his channel. <laughs> Veos, please use or try Restock Plus. Restock Plus? What does Restock Plus do that Restock doesn't already do? Does it add um, stuff for... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing like wings and stuff. What else is it supposed to be? What the? Christopher, 26. Yo, Veo, sorry I can't stay for the stream today. Just wanted to drop a like. Here goes a space call forever. Hey man, thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, every every penny helps if you want to support the channel. But yeah, man, thank you so much and. Uh, Good luck to you, and stay safe, and have a wonderful day. And, uh, yeah, man, thank you so much. Thank you so, so very much for that. Very appreciated. Very, very appreciated. Ah. Damn, that kind of knocked me off my guard. I don't, I don't know where I'm at now. What was I talking about? Uh, la, la, la. Veos is supposed to be... Yes, okay. Veos, I feel guilty after leaving the laggy ar army a week ago. After leaving the laggy army a week ago? The laggy army? Help me out. What's the laggy army? Veos, name it the USS Lobsterfest. <laughs> what you use to see a live chat in GME? What you use to see live chat in, in GME? Actually, I'm using OBX. This is OBX I'm using, and um, I can go to Streamlabs, and they have a link. So you hook up your your YouTube channel with Streamlabs, then you take the link and you put it in OBX, and it shows the, the chat popping up on the bottom. Vales, what other games do you play? Um, Fallout 4, Sins of a Solar Empire... You know, space or survival games are really my thing. Survival or space games. I've played PUBG a lot too, but... Eh. Uh, Veos... What? That was more money than what's in my bank account. Ha <laughs> ha, I wanna die. <laughs> TJ, don't worry. Just, you know, when you, when you... When you have bills to pay, and you have a job that brings in money, but you got a crap ton of bills to pay, and at the end of the month you have, like... Zero dollars, you'll know the pain. Oh, you will be. You will be. You will be afraid. Bales, is it supposed to be a sh short or mobile colony, or does it have a more specific purpose? Uh, I was actually looking at it to be a science collector. So it would go on long, long missions all around the planet and collect science. So it's got a, in here is a um, elevator for Kerbals, if they don't want to use the ramp. And this is your power, kind of like an engineering area. You have on this other side, a somewhat complicated mining and fuel smeltering uh, thing. And of course you have rovers. So if this thing is uh, filling up with fuel, you can still do science by taking the rovers out. Collecting rovers. Uh, collecting rovers. Collecting science. Sorry, I has got to go. Okay, small cad. Take it easy. I appreciate you uh, checking in on us. Don't forget to like and share if you liked what you see. And consider subscribing if you haven't already already. Already, already, already. Ready? What? What? Oh, blah, 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 blah. All right. So I wanted to build a ramp in the ramp. Ooh, how am I going to do that? A ramp in the ramp. A ramp in the ramp in the ramp. Sea Dragon, what's going on? 
Is this for the colony on Duna? It could be. It very well could be. Chatter mode will make the Duna colony a game feel alive. It's an amazing mod. Oh yeah, I've had chatter when it first came out. Uh, I can't run too many mods because my computer is a dinosaur. So There is that. Yes, can I tell you why I am God of the KSP Xbox? I am building a large carbon station and mun station for my consolation project. And I call KSP Xbox easy and much more. Alex, Godspeed to you, man. May you defy the Kraken and conquer the universe. We are with you. Victory or death. <laughs> Anybody remember where victory or death came from? If you do, it means that you're old. Ha <laughs> ha. But uh, I guess I'm old to know what the hell I'm talking about either. Yeah. Victory or death. Victory or death. I want to put something here, but I can't put my finger on it. I can't use one of these because they only go, what? 300 and... They only do 180? Like a 180? So close to 15,000 subscribers. Yes. Yes, I was... I was uh, when I first started doing daily uh, uh, uploads, there we go, got it right. When I first started doing daily uploads, for the first two months, I I went from 11 to 14,000 subscribers very quickly. But then it all died down. I guess the, the YouTube algorithm got sick of me or something. Veo, sadly, I can't subscribe 10 times to help you out. <laughs> what do you mean, 10 times? Seriously, I'm ten. I'm ten subscribers away from fifteen k. Oh, that's freaking awesome! I didn't even realize it. I don't even keep track of that. Wow, that's cool. Let me think here. Can I double this up? Actually, let me see. Right. Uh huh. And what? It, what if I did like this? I'm looking for strength, so. Ooh, that's cool. Hold on. Okay, so th this would come down. This would... Yeah. No, no. Okay, so yeah, that would bring that down. Hold on, let's let's do some testing. I think we may have found the secret to our uh, problem. Oh, cool. It attaches right on top, too. Sweet. Hey, Veos, what's up? Hey, Fresco! Francesco, Francesco? Oh, please tell me I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. I know Cupcake Landers is doing his thing right now, so please go into his video or chat if he's streaming. I don't know, is he streaming? If so, give him some love. Tell him I sent you. Be like, hey, what's going on? Veo sent me. How you doing, big boy? Uh, can I have a shout out now? Captain Cheesecake, can I have a shout out? Yes, everyone go see Captain Cheesecake. You know, that actually sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Your name sounds delicious. <laughs> Your name sounds delicious, Captain Cheesecake. <laughs> Almost right pronunciation. I'm Italian. Thank you for your effort, though. Hey, uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I tried. I, I tried and I failed miserably. Okay, so what's going to happen is this. This is going to come down, right? And then it's going to go up like this, but then we have... Oh, shit. Wait. Then we have that. Oh, wait. No, no. That works. Sort of. Uh, well... Okay... And then that comes down. I mean, it's so okay. That's going to be really... Let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's, let me stick it in here. Hold still. I'm trying to stick this inside you. Way, whoa, where'd I go? Where'd I go? Oh, just right there. Yay! Sort of works-ish. Maybe. Give me a second. What up, Vales? What up, Illegal Gamer? What's going on? 
just uh, fixing this <laughs> right here without uh, too much censorship. Uh, okay, Veos, my pet is the Kraken. Ooh, he pets the Kraken. Although that could be taken out of context. Woof. Let's try this real quick. I'm gonna keep that pinned, right? And I'm gonna key. Hey, get back here. Keep the hey. Hiya. Oh, okay. Okay. So now, now that we got this, let's see. Shit. Pull that up there. Okay. <sighs> see if I can make this work. The last starfighter. Yes, you got it. The last starfighter. Victory or death. This is my pet, Chuck. <laughs> An awesome movie. I mean, yeah. I mean, shoot. The 80s all kinds of had... Uh, what? The 80s had all kinds of good movies. It's sad. We don't have those anymore. They've gone away. Okay, so this comes up. Wait. It's not what I wanted at all. Oh, hold on. Mm, nah. Okay, hold on. Damn. <sighs> let me think. Let me think. Hold on. Let me use my noggin. Veils is the best. Hey! Thank you. Greg? How you doing? I landed a rover on the moon. Thanks to the Kraken, the... Pro the pieces are escaping carbon at the speed of light. Yeah, about that. Cat cam? Nope, kitty's nowhere to be found. If she was, I would probably give you guys a cat cam. She's doing her own thing. I don't know where she is. Ah, gosh damn it. Get in there. Okay, so, I mean, I see this thing. It wants to work, right? There's a little blemish right here, but we can always fix that later. It wants to work. It really wants to work. It wants to work. Hmm. Oh yeah, the Explorers were pretty good. I love the Explorers. When I was a kid, I watched the Explorers. I wanted to be the uh, German Wolfgang. I wanted to be Wolfgang so badly. I wanted to have a basement full of stuff I could test science rocket parts with and shit. A very had a had a very over um, very very uh, that's not gonna work is it shit I mean I don't want it to I mean is it that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too bad would it I mean it, it's sticking out a little bit but it's not horrible right not horrible. I mean, is it? Hmm. Yeah, KSP two. I'm I'm waiting for that too. I don't think my computer will be able to run it at, you know, full power. I don't I don't have a Matt Lone supercomputer. That boy's loaded. I tell you. Uh, shit. Yes, fellas, keep telling yourself that. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work. <laughs> yeah, maybe it might give us attention. We, I don't know. I don't know. Tri oh, a triangle piece. That's a go. Wait, no. That's, um, hold on. Maybe. Open. I'm trying to keep it... You know, not as super sophisticated. I think. Ooh, de lolly. Golly, what a day. Here, let me do this first. So what we're going to do is we're going to scooch the... Hey, gimme, gimme. Scooch this up. There we go. I'm going to add some end pieces to it. 
Oh, 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 I know what to do. I know what to do. Thank you. Thank you for uh, that idea. What, what, what the idea was um, put a put a pointy end at the end, right? But instead of the point, po potent, po gosh, damn it, speak, Veils. Use tongue. Tongue will move. And I will actually put a... Uh, voila. Yes. Wait, something smaller, I guess. Ah, yes. Put that right there, right? And it's going to flip. There's going to be a flippy flip. So we're going to have a flip box. Or flip thing. Flip tile. Yeah, flip tile. I like that word. Flip tile looks, sounds good. Ah, oh, whatever. There we go. Nightbot doing something. Everybody's like, ah, oh, Nightbot. Yes, Nightbot's hungry. I haven't fed it in, oh, say, a month or so. You'll have to be very careful. Nightbot's hungry. Okay, not bad, right? This could work. Uh, yes. Aha! 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 Here we go. Bring this down. Make sure it's kind of on the floor a little bit. There we go. Okay. And this kind of comes down like this. Very good. Yeah. Why are you called Veos? Is it an acronym or something? Oh boy. This is going to be another... You know what? I should put this in my... <laughs> I should start putting this in my description. Because <laughs> you're like the 10th person who's asked me this. Actually, no. Probably the 50th, but I can't even remember. And it's, n it's not bad. It's not bad. Love you still, man. Love you still. Um, but, um... <sighs> Let's see. So, Veos comes... Good morning from Texas. Hey, good morning! Uh, Veos, this... This is tongue now. Okay. Hey. Uh, so Veos comes from an old game that I played a long time ago. The game was called Eve Online. Or it still is. Eve Online. And I made my character an abbreviation of star systems. Or, you know, um, astronomical things. Astronomical? Is that what I wanted to say? Astronomy things? Anyway. So the V stands for the star system Vega. The A stands for Andromeda. The O stands for Orion, right? So my original name was Veo. And in the, um, you know, in the uh, chat, or actual, actual voice in the voice chat, we were using Ventrilo back then. I can't remember what the, whole, the thing was called. But people kept on making an S sound at the end of the word. At the end of the word. So instead of Veo, they'd be Veos. Always Veos, Veos, Veos. And I was correcting him. I was like, no, I'm, I'm Veo. Just Veo. No the S. He's like, oh, okay. Hey, Veos, over here. And I'm like, fuck. But inevitably, it, it just kind of grew into Veos. I was like, you know what? You know what? Screw it. Just leave the S on it. And it's Veos. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> So that's how that became a thing. That's how that name started. Veos has the best KSP vids. I do? I appreciate that. A lot of people would argue with that. You got Pilot, who's growing exponentially quickly. I have no idea how the hell he's achieving that. I wish I knew his secret. You have Matt Lone course you have the one and only scott manley which i look up to marcus house i remember him when he was just a small ksp youtuber and uh, i watch his videos all the time great videos Uh, let's see here. 
Maybe bring this up a little bit more. Ah, shucks. There we go. <coughs> I'm I'm really curious to see what uh, um, Cupcake Landers is doing. Is he streaming? Does anybody know? Is he actually streaming? Yeah, <laughs> Ryan Star Systems. They are Voss. <laughs> Voss. Uh, Nebula... What? What happened to Nebula X? Uh-oh, something happened? Crap, I missed that. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, let's go like this. Bring this down a little bit more. That's pretty close. Alright. Bring this in just like, whoops, yep, there we go. Okay, I think that'll work. It's got a little bit of a ledge to it, but we can use that as a kind of a grip. Veozos. <clears throat> Sounds like a cereal box. Eat Veos. Veozos. Scott is the king and lord of KSB community. I know, all right? He's the man. He's a dumb man. The bomb. What about Macy Dean? I miss him. Where the hell did he go? He like disappeared off the face of the earth. I sure hope everything's all right. There's like rumors floating around that he died or something. I hope that's not true. Come on, kids. Gather around the fireplace. Grandpa Vegas is telling a story. Still love you, Grandpa Vegas. <laughs> I told you, Vegas. You told me. I can't. I, I don't even know what that. Bleh. I don't have anything. So yeah, he isn't streaming on YouTube. So should we start calling you Veo then? No, it's an, it's it's old. It's gone. Veo is Veo is dead. It's now just Veo. Oops! I left a crack in the floor. Well, it's not good. Uh, oh, hold on. We can just do this. Just bring this up a little bit more. It's just Boris. There we go. Eh. Oh, I must have accidentally put that on its own symmetry. Well, shit. I knew that was going to bite me in the ass eventually. Veos. Love, love, heart, heart. Love, love, kiss, kiss. French people screaming when Veos adds an S to his name. Okay, so this is kind of laid out, but it really does work. I'm thinking we got gold here, people. Oh, wait. What does it look like when it folds up? That's the real question. All right, let's test this out. So this folds this way. The, oops, that's not where I, that's not okay. The, oh, wow. Uh, this folds this way. Right, and this folds this way. Shit. Um. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got this, we got this, we got this. We got this, we got it. We got it, we got this. We got it. There we go. There we go. It doesn't have to stick out. It can stick out a little bit, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, so. This closes. <laughs> Not bad, okay. Open. I love you. True love. Forever. And ever. Yes, I thought you said I left a Kraken in the floor. For a moment. <laughs> yeah. That would be bad. That'd be bad. Krakens are like 
alien xenomorphs. Just leave one. If you just leave one of those suckers alive, you're... It's, uh, 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 uh. All right, so this comes down, right? So this comes up. Okay, hold on. I, I need to start getting my things all figured out here. There we go. Open that just a pinch. There we go. All right. Down, up, down, up. Okay. And then this one just comes down a little bit. Not all the way like this. Just a little bit. Right there is good. So that means that this has like this, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I am totally watching Cupcake Lander's video. If he's not streaming, I'm totally watching that shit after this stream. Because we're actually almost done here. Just got to figure this out. Wait, what did I do? Ooh, I screwed up. Ooh, I made a boo-boo. Hello. You should check out uh, Martin Up Pants someday. Who the hell is Martin Soto Pants? Who's Mr. Pants again? Damn, this is this is not working. Zero. Can I make this like 99 and 100? Just so I can open this? Thank you. Gush gosh. Gush gosh. There we go. Okay, so this opens up completely. Not really completely. Just like that's fine. It is fine, yash. Okay, so 174. Up. Oh. I'll make it a little more. 175 is fine. Yeah, it can push on the ground, it's fine. Okay, so this is cool. And I think what I'm going to actually do as well... Hmm. Veos, Meth Lone is the current biggest KSP YouTuber. You know what's funny? I saw Meth Lone start off. I was already at like 9,000 subscribers when he first started. So, uh... Good luck, good, 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 good for him. You know, I don't know how he, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Hey, Vales, Jeff is here, and I have a feeling that this won't work. Jeff, how dare you? But how you doing, regular internet person? How you doing? Sometimes I think Vales is blind. Uh, possibly. Yes. I wouldn't put it past me. There we go. Bills, do you know where Bob Fetch went? You know what? I talk to him on a regular basis, and I even got good recommendations from him. Um, he works for Blizzard. He's actually like the CEO guy of Blizzard. Well, not CEO. I think he's director. So when I was asking him for a job, he's like, yeah, come on in. I was like, yes, I can. But, you know, one thing led to another. I never did. Fuck. Could have been working for Blizzard now. Damn me. All right, so I'll traverse rate. I definitely want the traverse rate to be, you know, like freaking almost non-existent. There we go. Okay, cool, cool. We got everything working. Everything's good. Uh, just building a new frigate in airships conquer the skies. It shall be named the Veos class. Ooh, sounds awesome. Else, you don't know who Martipa Pants is? God Vernet, check his channel now. Ah, I shall write that name down. Martin Cinto Pants. Got it. I shall check him out as soon as the stream is over, and as soon as I'm done watching one of my f one of my, one of my uh, best uh, buddy v um, v v uh, fudge musicals. I don't want to say care cake, not care cake. One second, I am using my brain. Cupcake Landers, hello. Thank you. Got it. Shit. Bayos, Jeff, I got <laughs> Expand season four. What? Bayos, say fuck Jeff. 
Um, actually, no, I don't swing that way, ad space, but, you know, it's it's perfectly fine. Love is love, you know. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, Veos put a tiny cross in the rover for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this will thwart any bad luck. Yash. Hey, Veos, just wanted to say, re. Just wanted to say, re. Re. Oh, shoot, reverse rate, that's not what I want. Okay, here we go. Hey, Vales, just wanted to say... Vales, thank you for the mod help. Hey, I hope it helped you out. I'm not sure if it did, but I hope it did. Okay, now I got to put this whole thing on a action group. Number six, I believe it was, right? Yes. So number six opens everything up. It opens everything up. Yash. Clicky, okay. Toggle hinge, clicky, toggle hinge, and clicky, toggle hinge, very good. Okay. I will, however, give me that. I w give me, give me. I will traverse right down to a little bit of minimum of, say, mm, to the R. I'm going to put the traverse rate down to the R. Yes. Because that's a number in uh, calculus. Veos, use the other kind of hinge. No, I shall not. I am defiant in more ways than one. However, we will turn this a dark color. Because if you think about it, it's being run over constantly, so it's going to have some mud on it. There we go. All right, so we've fixed the ramp, we've fixed the rovers. I think we're ready for a test run, and then that'll be it for the stream. <gasps> it's really a short stream this time? Yes, it actually is a short stream. Because I'm going to take what I've made here and put it all into a video for Sunday. All right, let's 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 put some people in here, shall we? Uh, screw it, just fill it. Fill it. Fill it up, 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 fill it up. Up, uh, up. Uh. Oh shit. Where's everybody? Uh, let's put Jebediah. Da, da, da. Let's put Jebediah in the cupola. Okay, and let's see here. Uh, we're going to use some scientists. Maybe an engineer and a nurse scientist. We're going to put them. In oh shit, which one is which? <gasps> which one is which? I don't know, I forgot. Uh, 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 uh Well, I don't know. Okay, Mega Rover test. Let's do this. Love your vids. Thank you. Love you too. Veos, the proof that the Kraken is more powerful than the humans is the fact that KSP developers can't defeat it. Well, it's not that they can't. It's that, you know, it's one of those things where they're like, eh, it's too hard. Let's do something else. <laughs> uh, okay. Look at it. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She's beautiful. Oh, she's so beautiful. Yash. See how the wheels straighten out a little bit because of the fact that it was bent? Hit the one key, it should turn everything on. There she goes. And it acts like a tank, so you turn the directions. And she'll... Whoa! She'll drift, apparently. Oh, crap. I think I'm going a little too fast. Am I going a little too fast? Whoa! Tokyo Drift here. Doing some Tokyo Drift. You know what? Speaking of Tokyo Drift, I wonder if I can actually... Nope. Nope. We're losing the wheel. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Going a little too fast. I gotta turn these things down. So violent. It's been like an hour, Veos. You said it would be a short stream. Well, short streams are usually about an hour, right? Okay, let's do this real quick. Let's, let's tune this down. Just a pinch. Uh, dip. 
Okay, so let's do let's do just um, Volt One Eleven on every single one of these heavy rotors. Volt One Eleven. I love Fallout Four. I wish they fixed a few things, like for instance, being able to holster your weapon and be able to see it, like every other freaking Fallout game ever designed but that's neither here nor there okay instead of actually doing this we're, we're actually going to just uh, load it up let's go to the moon actually no let's go to let's go to Mars Duna excuse me I love this I love you too let's do this Duna gate activate Duna gate Hmm, looking a bit wobbly, eh? Well, I mean, we are talking about KSP here. I was going to go in depth about an actual full-fledged um, shock absorber system using pistons. I just don't have that kind of time. I could build it. I've built many shock absorbing piston things before. Shakalaka. Okay. That's the gate. And let's go ahead and teleport. Uh, one over here so we can give it a good test. Make a flying probe, Veos. What? Make a flying probe? What? Have I not? Have I not made a flying probe already? Are you not entertained? And I bet it's upside down. Shit. Well, um, hold on. I can, I can, I can do this. I got it. There we go. And we'll take it out a little bit so it's away from the gate probe thing. As far away as possible. That should be good. Right on top of this hill is fine and place. Doink. All right. This is awesome. Let's test this. Thing. Oh my gosh. So the gravity is not as strong, so it's still a little. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And what did you do with 76? I never did like 76. When it first came out, it was horrid. The bugs were just horrific. I said, screw it. I ain't dealing with this shit. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 breaks. Let's let's F five save real quick. So if we blow up, we don't have to go through all that again. Uh, F five. Hello, thank you. And we're going to actually control from here. Very good. Now let's go onwards to a land in the sunset. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's bouncy. Oh, I see. It's bouncy, bouncy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. I mean, I could lock them, but that's not really going to work, is it? But if I auto-strut, heaviest part, that should do the trick. All right, let's try it. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, it didn't do the trick. Never mind. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back and find a locking mechanism for this. I'll probably do my trick where I have a same vessel interaction part underneath of it. And uh, use this as same vessel interaction. Just kind of have it flip down and, and lock it in place. That's going to have to be what it's going to have to be. Let's uh, take this back off because as we all know, having parts attached to robotic parts and then auto strutting them is bad news however I can lock this for now right okay I don't know how good that's gonna do I can lock all this lock all right let's do this didn't really do shit but oh well Else, don't forget sass. Um, 
Good sir. Do you really believe Sass is going to help us? <laughs> Do you see the tires, the size of everything? Do you really think Sass is going to help us? Do you believe that we have a bunch of Sass modules in here? Is that your ultimate opinion? Oh shit, zero. Look, I can hit zero and there's a cool little antenna comes out and this thing starts spinning around like it's looking for stuff. Try and play City Skylines, Vios. I have, actually. I built huge, mega, circular cities. That look super futuristic. Super, uber, duper futuristic. However, I think I lost that save. Although, I may have still some pictures floating around. I maybe even have some videos still floating around a little bit. Okay, let's turn to the right. Just a pinch. Okay, turn to the left a pinch. Remember, this is uh, about 170 tons on six giant wheels. So it's very heavy, even on low gravity planets. Turn down dampening for... Oh! Oh, for this! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, eh, eh. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, eh, eh, gimme. Eh, gimme. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Dampening. Uh. Dampening. Turn down. Ha ha. I turned it down. Ah, it seems not to be moving as much. I still think we're going to need to put a locking mechanism on that sucker, though. Fails auto struts and ridge everything. Probably. Probably we'll have to do that, but I think the locking mechanism is going to be our saving grace, ultimately. You will never escape my powers, Fails, even with sass. You know what you sound like right now? You sound like this. You will never be able to escape my powers. Do it. Do it. Uh, Veos, I think the scanning thing that's spinning would look better if it spun faster. But it's not scanning, it's it's a telescope. It's literally a telescope. It's a telescope. If it spun faster, I think I think we would make the Kerbal seasick. Just a little bit. But I think what you're talking about is like a radar dish, like something that goes around in circles would be pretty cool. Although, this thing does have communications. It's in here, though. See? It's a relay antenna. One of the big ones. The biggest freaking one in the game is is inside here. So it's like a big, giant communications dish on the very top. It's kind of cool. I love how this thing is just riding, man. we just riding. And I can control it very easily, actually. I have the um, reverse. I have reverse control on action groups on one side and the other side on two and three key. So if I want to, I can go completely reverse, or if I tap the two key real quick, I can make a little bit of a right turn. Or the three key makes me a little bit of a left turn. Two key, three key. Alex, call me by my real name, Jeff. Uh, which Veos named me for some reason? I didn't name you Jeff, did I? I'm sorry. If that's the case, then you shall no longer be named as Jeff. But as Starboy. Yes, Starboy. Hi, Veos. What did I miss? Uh, almost everything. Oh, gosh. I'm glad I missed that. <laughs> Kraken almost got me there. If I ran over that, I think we would have problems. Even with all these big giant wheels. Not much, but we are ending the stream here pretty soon because I want to see what Cupcake Landers' video is. Yes, Cupcake Landers. Check him out. He's been with me ever since I started videos. It was like me and him and a couple others. In the beginning, before Matt Lone was a thing. 
It was Scott Manley. Scott Manley was like the ultimate first. V4 Virus, I miss him. He left YouTube completely. But he was making some amazing crafts. <laughs> he be rolling. <laughs> Fails, I have to go. Please remember me. Exo, I remember you. I remember you, Exo. Is his name Exo? Am I right? Is it, am I saying that right? Remember, everyone, that uh, if you like what you see, please consider helping out the channel uh, by uh, just clicking the like button. It would really help out a lot. Oh, wow, Tokyo Drift. It would really help out a lot. And hey, if you like what you see and, and you really want to see more, consider subscribing. I do this kind of stuff all the time. Boing did a boing boing. Yeah, let's use edit extensions redux mod. It would give you infinite symmetry. Uh, oh yeah, I've seen that where you have like freaking. Uh, I think um, what's his name? <sighs> Why do I, I, I not Crash Bandicoot? What's his name? You know what I'm talking about? Hazardish. Yeah, I think he did that to make his like giant halo ring thing. I love the fact that it's kind of it's kind of got its own little suspension because of the way I've tilted everything. What is that, by the way? That's pretty big, actually. Stop this! Stop this land ship! Let's turn this bitch around. That is pretty big. Oops! Didn't mean to turn that way, but. I'm doing it anyway. Doink. Doink. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda like a tank. It can turn it can turn in place. Very, very nice. I mean, it's a huge rover. Come on, guys. This is amazing. This freaking rover is ginormous. Can we run over that without dying? Do I want to try? No, I really don't, actually. Because I know this thing doesn't have right suspension. <laughs> Sub to Veos. Oh, thank you. Veos, when is the Patreon coming? I want to give you money. <laughs> um... Soon. I still have to do the Patreon and I still have to do the YouTube partnership. Which is, uh, uh, actually, uh, I've got some time this week, so hopefully I can get that running. The Veos class is complete. Dun dun dun. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do our little thing that we're supposed to be doing. And that is science. Pull up a little bit here. Actually, I want to get on the... Uh, there really is no other side, huh? All this low gravity. A little bit of bouncy. But yeah, let's go make a bigger one. Well, this is a prototype. And I think it did very well. But it's still a prototype. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. All stop. Engines reading all stop. Ding ding. Let's do this. Big concern about KSP2? It's gonna be graphic hungry for sure. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's hit the six button. Ready? Six key. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's unlock everything first. Or else we're going to have some serious cracking issues. Uh, unlock. Okay, good. 
Okay, here we go. Testing out in three, two, one. Oh shit. Something's still locked. That's locked. Is it? Doesn't say it is anymore. Why are you no working? <sighs> locked? No. Locked? Yes! Gosh damn it. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit eater. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is bad. Um, okay, we're going to lock everything back up. We're going to lock it all back up. Hit the six key again. Okay. <laughs> There's you locked it. I know, I know, I know. We need a turret. Well, that'd be for like a military class. This is science, okay? It's all science. Gosh. Okay, so now we're going to unlock it. Unlock it. Now it should work. Ready? Give me the good music. The good music. I want the good music. The heavenly music. Holy fudge sickles, that was just horrible. Why did that drop so hard? Eh? I mean, I love it, but it dropped really hard. Hold on. Holy crud. Wow. Okay. We're going to have to figure out that, apparently. Hmm. Veos, it seems my new tactic worked. Did it now. Uh, traverse rate is like nothing. So what the hell? Traverse rate on this one is like nothing either. So what uh, the hell? Maybe bring the dampening up more? How about this one? Maybe bring that dampening up to 100? Bring down torque limit to 32? Let's try that. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, number six. I mean, it, eh, maybe. Eh, I guess. Traverse rate, yeah. Yeah, let's change reverse rate so it d drops the ramp. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's cool. All right, so now that we're over here, we might as well try to fuel up, right? So let's activate our fueling system. Here we go. We opened it up, activate radiators, and the drill. Activating drill. Start harvest. There she goes. Okay, so this large one is mainly for the smelter that's in here. Right now it's cooking. And of course we have an ore tank to collect ore. And it's uh, it's making fuel as we speak. And of course that fuel is in this side, over here, being turned into power. Yes, sir. Uh. Okay, let's act. Let's get these little guys out of here. Hey, there's nobody in here. That's that's really crappy. <laughs> okay. 
Holy moly, woo, I love that rover. Yes, it's a cool rover, isn't it? It's sweetness, and just to think that this is generation one, it's simply a prototype. All right, let's see if we can find some people. Find some Kerbals to torment. Okay. That's... I don't even know why he's there. Transfer. Put him in there. Huh? Where is everybody? <gasps> we only have one person. Oh, we only have one person. Damn, I was thinking we had everybody here. Well... Oh well. EVA. Dun dun. Dun dun. Da 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 da. We don't need that. Why is that even there? We don't need a parachute on Mars. <laughs> He's like, shit, Vales, I don't even want to destroy it anymore. It's so pretty. Doesn't want to restock makes game look really nice and realistic and the main thing aesthetic. Yes, it does. It does help a lot and it gives you more options. Like the structural panels got like four different skins you can choose between the two. It's really fun. Okay, so as we all know, Kerbals are magnets, right? It looks like the whole game is. Is this whole truck sliding? One bit of past KSP, but anyway. Cool thing is that if he wants to, he can come up here. And he's shaking like he's shivering, but he can walk on the on this deck and work on some stuff. It's like it's like engineering, like Scotty. Get down. Now, in order for this, or in order for this uh, elevator to work, he actually has to grab one of these. This keeps him or keeps his code, I guess you could say, game code from sticking like glue because if I let him stand there and I try to move this thing it will be like if I'm fighting the forces of the universe it'll be like ring, 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 and it won't move at all because this little guy unfortunately they gave him sticky feet but as soon as he grabs onto a ladder he is all mine I can do whatever I want I can throw him into space if I want to all right ladder coming out here we go let's see six key five key bring out the uh, elevator thing. Hello? <sighs> now what? Number five. Hello? Oh, I'm 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 sorry. I'm I've got the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, <laughs> obviously he can't do that. He's outside the vehicle. All right. Number five. Perfect. So lovely. Now we can explore the surface of Mars. Or Duna. Why is he shivering like he's... What the hell, KSP? What's going on, KSP? What's wrong with you, KSP? Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong, boy? What's wrong? Tell me what's wrong. What's wrong? Yes, all I have stock. Uh, the only thing I have is restock. Which uh, just gives the stock new skins. Wow, check it out. Huh. So what is this, metal or something? Can we mine this and get stuff out of it? What's up with this? I can imagine like five or six Kerbals walking around right now. And they're like checking it out. They've got like little science stuff on top of here. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a literal ordeal. And they're like... It's like the beginning of The Martian, the movie. Where they're kind of like, you know, yelling at each other. Hey, Vales, I came in late. That's all right, man. We're almost done anyway. No, that's a surface feature. Actually, no, it's not. It's, uh, it's a science thing. We're about to go and grab a... Uh, about to go grab a science rover and check it out. Really wish the wobbly aspect would stop. Why 
Oh, that's what I forgot to put on these rovers. Like a little ladder to get up there. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Haha, <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. Alright, we're in. Let's do this. I'm in the system. Let's do this. Unfortunately, I ran out of action groups to do this, so I'm going to have to do this manually. Nice and easy. Right there's good, I think. Okay, the couple. Did I just rehook? No, we're good. Okay. Alright, moving out. Oh, damn, I forgot to turn you. Oh, no, no, wheel authority's down to this almost zip, so we're good. Alright, uh, control from here. Okay, control, there we go, forward. Okay, we're in our science rover, let's move out. Easy now, steady. <laughs> steady now, nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Going down the ramp. There we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> oh, this is too cool. It's like I'm driving a truck. Viz, craft file, please, please, please. Google Drive, anything, please. <laughs> you know, I will be doing a Kerbal X thing again. I just have to, I really just have to find it. That's all. I think I have an old, old account with Kerbal X. But like I said, I, um, next week I have some time. I'm going to be doing a lot of these different things. Okay, so this is supposed to be a science object, right? It's got to be. So let me let me see if I can use my science arm to do something with it. Aha! Oh, nope. No, that's not going to happen. Okay, fine, 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 fine. All right, let's activate the science arm. We should be close enough. Scan sand dune. Here we go. Oh, look at the little light. That is so cute. Oh, it's a laser. Oh, that's so freaking precious. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Fails just wanted to know, was this inspired by me asking about the Juggernaut, or have you been working on this for a while? When did you ask about the Juggernaut? Because I was working on this actually yesterday. Oh, well, we don't need any of that. We're good. Eh. Yeah, I was working on this yesterday. Actually, someone said, I was looking at the comments, and someone said, build an advanced rover. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, I've built so many freaking rovers in my entire time being in KSP. What could they possibly mean by advanced rover? And then I thought, well, what would be an advanced rover? What could possibly be an advanced rover? And then it hit me. A bigger one. <laughs> Fails, please read my idea. Okay, Obi Chaka Chicken Boo. Okay, talk. Okay, talking colony here. It could be a late game planet explorer. Oh yeah, I was thinking about putting this on Duna as uh, like for the colony stuff. It's not out of the realm of um, you know. It's not out of the realm. It, 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 it's very possible. It could definitely be a thing. Oh, 
Oh, I'm loving this. It's going up there without much of a hiccup. Just a little bit of bumpiness. That's fine. Er Stop. Stop. Stop! <laughs> back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Oh, hey. 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 How you doing? Okay. Um. Well, that's that. That's definitely a thing, huh? Uh, let's flip over to the rover and just grab. Can I grab this, please? Thank you. And now let's bring it down a little bit. Come on. Give a big kiss. Give big kiss. Mwah. There we go. Okay. Now we just bring it right back up. Just lift it right off the ground. There she goes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And I can just go ahead and transfer back over to the decoupla for now. Okay. Uh, I think we're pretty much cool here. Let's let's wrap everything up, and then it'll probably be it for the stream. All right, so we gotta stop the drill. Stopping drill. Is the drill stopped? Nope, nope, it's not. Okay, stop drill. Let's bring it back up. I'm in control, right? What the hell's going on? Hello. Uh Oh, I'm controlling the wrong one. Woof. That could have been very bad, guys. I was I was hitting the wrong button and this thing was going up and down like this. <laughs> That's not the drill. That's not the drill button. Okay, 987. So it's got to be 7. All right. Yes, it's 7. We're good. Ah, action group 7. Okay. Hey, so I'm listening in speaker and my dad is saying why this guy screaming this much <laughs> why am I screaming because we could die that's why number eight everything's being folded up real nice number nine bringing it in oh yeah very pretty very very pretty all right, let's do the other way. Number four, number five. Just bring that right on in. And then number six. We're gonna have to do something with this ramp. It's a little late on cue. But that works. Ladies and gentlemen, that works. Why is that? that way now. Did I bend something? Did something get bent? I think I accidentally bent something. Or not. Yeah, something's bent. See, if I had a let locking mechanism, I'd have I'd have this structural panel, same vessel interaction, and then I'd put a locking mechanism up here, same vessel interaction. It'd come down and like tuck that in and pick it up. That's gonna have to be something we're gonna have to do later. But here it is. It's still considered a prototype, but it's a beautiful prototype, and it works. It works. It is beautiful. Yes, these engines are, these engines do, they do do a thing. Oh, oh shit. Uh, uh, easy, 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 easy. Going too fast. Going too fast. Ah, damn, we're going down fast. Okay, 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 no, we're good. We're good. It's all good. It's all good. Nothing to see here. We're all good. Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming. Badass wheels, bro. Oh, thank you, Sergeant. Hey, just got here. Oh, no. <laughs> he just got here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. <laughs> he just got here. Oh, man. Uh, 
yeah we're 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 wrapping it up here but uh thank you so much for coming sergeant for sergeant and uh appreciate all of you being here and uh being here in the stream i appreciate your support and uh thank you so much for um uh you know just just being here uh, it's uh, you guys are amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for the stream those fairings on the wheels yes these are fairings but uh, they're not driving on the fairings themselves they're driving on the pads fairings can't take but maybe nine meters per second impact tolerance or else they'll go pop but i needed something so it could look kind of cool so there you go Love you, bud. Love you, too. Thanks, Vez. Have a wonderful rest of the day. And as you guys as well. And thank you so much for being here again. Um, Vez, it's 1140 at night here in India. I am sleepy. Yes, AdSense. That would be very sleepy territory. Uh, see you, Vez. Cheers for the entertainment during my banana-eating antics. <laughs> well, like I said before, you guys are amazing. Thank you all for your support. And I'm going to go ahead and check out Cupcake Lander's new video that he dropped. But uh, if anything, thank you so much for... Well, I keep on saying that, but I'm just so... I, you know, it's just who I am. But All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here then because i got a lot to do. But uh, look forward to the video tomorrow. I'm going to take everything from this stream as well as some other stuff that I've recorded and make a video for tomorrow. Probably... I'm going to try to get it out at about 9.30 Eastern Standard Time, like like normal. But yeah. Bye-bye, your colony video is going, going to be fire. Um, Yes, colony video. I am definitely going to probably work on that Sunday, too, so it can come out on Monday. But we'll see. And if I have time, I'll do other games, too, like Fallout 4. Fallout 4 um, has been doing well. Uh, the, the, it's like the third video I've come out with. The one where it says, Don't Die. <laughs> I just wish I had a better computer. It keeps on coming out real choppy, but it's fun. Anyway. Alright, guys. Love you all. Take care. You've got to upload to the Kerbal Axe. I know! I know everyone keeps on saying that. i got to open up my old account. I haven't been in there for a million years. They probably forgot about me. But if you go to Kerbal X and you look up Veos, I wonder if you could see some of the older craft files from, like, 2012 or some shit. But anyway. Alright. Alright. I'm out of here now. I'm really going now. I'm really going. All right. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I'll let this run for a few seconds before. Maybe maybe I'll just let it run. Maybe and it'll be like blow up or something. The wheel will give out or something. Maybe it'll hit this. I don't know. All right. I'm going to let it run for a few minutes. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.